hello there good morning good afternoon and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from welcome back to my youtube channel extensivo in this video i'm going to be showing you how to bring in and use the obs multi view i have two screens over here so i'm going to be showing you how to do it using two screens and i'm also going to be showing you how to do it using one screen so if you have one screen you can use this if you have two screens you can use this stay tuned don't forget my name joseph olasukomi this is extensivo Alright, so this is my OBS over here. You can see me. I have two cameras, one year, one year, and I'm also videoing the screen so you can see how my screen is. I have two monitors connected to my CPU. This CPU over here, I have two monitors connected. This is screen one, this is screen two. So I'm gonna be using more TV for this. You can also this can also work if you only have one screen. If you only have one screen, it can also work. So don't worry about that. So just go to the settings of the OBS over here, then you scroll down to this multi view we see multi view over here then you make sure this is to click to switch between scenes show the same name and then draw these areas you might not really want this but i also prefer it because i get an obs where i draw the layers um so i can know where i can put in my margins and stuff then your multiple layouts yeah um, i use eight cents i don't love multi sense over here so i just use eight cents that's my sense over here it does how many it does one to three so you can you know, have lots of same better same better things and stuff. Alright, then click on apply and click on OK. Then now in your view over here, you see your multi view full screen. Then this one, if you only have one screen connected, no, I told you I have two screens over here. So if you have one screen connected alone, you will only see one display here. But since I have two screens connected, I can see display two. So let's click on the display two. So the massive view is going to display two. Let me show you how it looks like if I'm using display one. So for the display one, click on it, and this way to be on my display one over here, on my little one, how it is. This is my cam one here, this is my cam TV. But if they don't use display one, I want it to be on the second screen. So I can you know, make this of this screen and make it of this. I have a tab here for my video ninja connected. This is a second camera over here. That's an alarm connected. Uh, if you need to know how I did this, where I have my videos from my phones connected to my OBS, I did a video on that on my past to trainers. So you can check it out and know how to bring in your phone cameras using Video Ninja. All right, so if you don't want to remove it, just click on Escape on your keyboard, Escape, and then it's removed. So I'm going to use the second screen view, motor view, then this is display. So if you have it on the second screen, so I have this motor view on my second screen, why I have this over here yes so um if you have more screens more scenes this is the by this and one this and two then you have to bring in more pictures let me see if i can bring in more pictures All right so if you see what i did i just created a random random scenes over here so i can have more scenes this is this this is this this is this i created a random scene so i can have more scenes here so we know how it looks like if you want to come one I can just switch some cam one click on it over here just click on it cam one then if you want cam two click on cam two one day just click on it depending on the transition you make in your scene transition squad so then make it to fade then i'm gonna see fade and nice movie it saves this phase out i'm gonna fade in this and that and that's how you have remote you in your obs but this pretty works for me when i'm using something like uh let's say a motor cam to in case i don't want to use it's a mini and stuff. You have to um, connect your cameras to each sense of your OBS. Then the scenes, we have more sense. Yes, let go to your settings over here. Then go to let's change the sense to a lot of sense. Let's say make it like 18 cents. Let's say horizontal 18 cents. Dot 18 cents. Yes, we can apply and click and okay. Then you see that I have more sense over here. I have more sense over here. Then we have more. If you need more sense, you need if you need more space rider. Just add more sense to it, just add more sense to it, and that is how you have it. That's how you have it. Cam two, cam one, this is here, this is here, this is here. I have more, so if you have more sense, if you need more, also you can still go to your settings and then in your multi view, you can let me let me make the highest. I think the highest is 25 cents, so you have 25 cents, cents only. So we know that once I'm clicking on it here, it's just going straight to the program over here. As I'm clicking it here, it's going straight to my program. As I click it's going straight going through so you can do this this is like lots perfect 
for a two screen to for a two screen job so you know that okay once i'm clicking here now it's going here i'm clicking here it's going here but if you know you want to see everything in case i isn't one screen you have a room just go down and you will not see you don't use the scene only use the top and you can see 20 percent stop then this way you can see your programs here they can you know have more touch over it here example as for if there isn't one same i think if there isn't one screen this will be perfect for you if there isn't two screens you can just connect like a tv screen or another monitor so your cpu like you want to extend so you can have an extended layer of this other screen over here and then just make it uh top sense only and this you have it so you can have cam one you can have cam two Pretty much be right, so that's how you do that in your OBS. Thank you very much for watching. If this video has been very sweet to you, please don't say to like, comment, share to family to your loved ones, share to family, share the more you share, the more you like, the more you too, recommend these videos to people out there knowing that okay, yes, this video is actually pretty very soon, and that's how you have it. Thank you very much once again. My name is Joseph Lasso Comi. See you in my next video.